idol. So for today's video, I'm gonna share to you the pre-program settings or P settings of the MAU display. Pre-program settings means allowing the rider to customize the performance of their electric scooter depends on their riding style. In my previous upload, the tutorial for beginners, I already mentioned there that I will make video separate for the Damao display settings. Hi okay, guys, so special shout out for those people asking me about the pre-program settings of the Damao display. Special shout out to... If you are new in this channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button. For you to be updated for my upcoming videos. Let's start the pre-program settings or P settings of the MAU display. Okay, so first step that we need to do is, this is the key ignition. Switch on. Okay. And then, next is, press the power button. Long press. In LCD, you will see the power button and in the mode button. So, if you press the mode button, you can see it will change from gear 1, gear 2, and gear 3. And then, if you press the power button, you will see the odometer. Next is trip. Then, next is battery voltage. Next is the current. And then, next is the time. Odometer means total mileage of your electric scooter. Trip, the meaning of trip is the total mileage in every single ride. So once the scooter is turned off, it will return to zero. To access in pre-program settings or piece settings, you need to press the mode button and then the power button together. Make it long press. Okay guys, so as you can see, you will see the letter P. This is what we call P settings P01. P01 is the LCD brightness level. So, 1 is the darkest. 3 is the brightest. So, as you can see, if you press, the light will change. In P01, I would suggest level 3 because even you are riding in the sun, still you can see the numbers in the display okay so to change the numbers you need to press the mode button so as you can see it will change then if you want to change the p level to p02 you need to press the power button once okay so as you can see p02 so p02 is mileage unit 0 is kilometers 1 is miles so in this I would suggest kilometers so you cannot change this is the default settings 0 then next is P03 okay, guys so in P03 is voltage level in P03 you will see 60 volts the default settings is 60 because this is blade 10 60 volts so if your scooter is like different voltage okay so there is a 48 volts there is 52 volts, 60 volts, and 48 volts only. Okay, so next is P04. P04 is dormancy time or machine goes to sleep in activity 1 to 60 minutes. So in this, I would suggest the default settings is number 10. Okay, so as you can see number 10 this is the default so if you want to make it longer you need to press only the mode button so 11 this is minutes okay, so let's say 15 minutes okay guys so next is p5 okay guys so p05 is reserve don't change in p6 this is the wheel diameter in inches so in blade 10 the default settings is 10 inches Next is P7. P7 is a speed measuring magnet. So in this, I would suggest choose number 30. So in my previous upload, the P settings of uh, QSS4, I already mentioned there that the motor magnet is 28. So in this, I would suggest 30 because when I try the 28, 
number of magnet it's like a very less torque power compared to 30 magnets which is a high torque power so in this I would suggest choose number 30 next is P8 P8 is the speed limit 1 to 100 so the default settings is 100 next is P9 P9 is zero start or kick start so in this if you are beginners I would suggest choose one for kick start so the scooter in order to move you need to kick first before it will start and then if you are familiar with the scooter you can choose zero for start next is P10 P10 is reserved don't change and P11 don't change this is reserve next is P12 P12 is soft and hard start strength so in this I would suggest if you are beginners choose one or two and then if you want more torque power I would suggest choose number five in order to feel the performance of your play 10 electric scooter and then next is the P13 P13 is reserve don't change next is P14 P14 is the controller current settings 1 to 20 so in this the default settings is 20 so don't change next is P15 okay guys so in P15 is a controller cut off voltage so the standard controller cut off voltage is 49 but the settings is uh, 44 only I cannot change so this is the controller cutoff voltage 44 in the mouth this is default settings and then the full charge of a blatant electric scooter 60 volts is 67.2 so next is P16 P16 is reserve don't change and then next is P17 so P17 is cruise control mode 0 is not cruise 1 is cruise control take note in cruise control cruise control is advisable only in open areas so this can be used in long ride this is not allowed to use in public areas or crowded area next is P18 so P18 is a EABS switch choose the range is 0 to 3 so 0 is closing 1 is the weakest and 3 is the strongest in this the default settings is number 2 okay so what is the EABS so the meaning of EABS it means electric anti-lock brake system so anti-lock brake system or ABS is a system which is designed to prevent you from locking up your brakes or applying so much pressure to your brakes that the axle and your wheels themselves stop turning completely okay guys so EABS is for safety purposes so that is the advantage of a blatant electric scooter it has a EABS system or anti-lock braking system okay guys and that's all for today so if you have comments or suggestions please comment down below and that's all for today so i hope you like my video so if you like my video please subscribe and hit the bell button for you to be updated for my upcoming videos and that's all for today and this is james signing out Thank you.